Hi friends, welcome back. We're here for more back and forth. And now, since Dan's sister is in there, let's see what happens next. Let's go! Okay, we get that. So, no thanks here. On with the story. Oh, Ricardo. Episode of the Glitz and Glam of the Millers, Part 2. Ricardo. No! What should I do? I'm gonna try sneaking in the bedroom. Let's take this to the bedroom. Shit! There's someone at the door! Hide! Are you having a secret affair with Camellia too? No! I know you're hooking up with the fitness instructor. Imagine Dad's reaction when he finds out. So you decide to stalk me here? You're a freak, Callum. Anything to reduce the rep competition? Instead of acting like a total loser, maybe you would like to actually earn something around here. Dad call was called into a meeting this morning while you here playing Pasparazzi. I think it's pretty obvious who the heir to Daddy's Empire is. Why wasn't I notified of this? Ricardo? Please, please don't tell her I'm here. She cannot know about me. No worries, Chica. I know, I know how crazy these rich people can get. I got your back. My place? Hey, Alfonso. The next time you tell me I have a meet to return to Manhattan for a gala, you might want to add a side quest thrown into a deal. This chairman is just excited as you for your return. It's been a long time. You are starting to think that you have no intentions of returning home at all. You know the deal you you made with your father. He turned a blind eye to your college years if you take over the ring of million enterprises. He may not show it, but he, he thinks hi very highly of you. What if I don't want to do this, Alfonso? I should enjoy my time away from here. I don't want to run a business. But you're almost as good as the chairman. You had his foresight, his charisma. Kel and Callum Camellia don't, don't stand a chance. I know you made a name for yourself with the football calibers, but this is your future, Dan. You're Miller. Poor him. Oh my god! Are you alright? I didn't know you would be, like, be that surprised. I'm sorry. Was she always this cute? <laughs> what are you doing behind the sofa? Uh, you see yourself in your apartment day. Nah, I expose. As much as I want to save his ass, time to expose. She was having a romp with her fitness instructor, Ricardo. In my apartment? Gross. How did she even get the keys to this place? Did she see? Nope. I was being we pretty well hidden down here. That's a that is a smile. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been myself. Don't be. You're the one who taught me that we can't always be perfect. She's really, really cute today. What What the F? Step out of it. Say, you're back home pretty early today. Yeah, I, would, I rushed through my work when I realized it's already Tuesday and we barely started on your training. Shall we? This is a list of all high, of the high profile talents our company works with. My mother invites them to the gala out of courtesy. This is a list of the organizations sponsored by my mother. This is your list of my relatives, as well as my parents' acquaintances. Be sure to get this right. And this is the... Just how many guests are we expecting for this? Everyone will be dying to dance with you tomorrow night. Unfortunately for you, Dan Mill is known to be quite the lead. We'll have to make sure to... Make sure you're good at this. People still do what? What century are we living in? You'll be surprised. While everyone was at the club grinding their hips away, I was busy taught waltz lesson. Is this what you were talking about the other day? Is this what you were forced to do? Among many others. There's so much more to you, you than just being popular, rich, and the football captain, isn't there? Ever since we got here, I got a been a feeling this different vibe off of you. You're not as carefree as you before. You sulk a lot, and I don't mean in a bad way, just... It feels different. 
Something happened in senior year. Because of that, I managed to convince my dad to let me take a break, to transfer my school of choice, to choose my college, and to do what I want. Of course, he had a condition. Once I had my fun, I would, I would have to come back to be the damn Miller I'm supposed to be. Now that I'm back, I feel like I can't ignore that side of me anymore. What happened? We should probably stop memorizing the names of the guests. Okay. I can't. Did something happen to, to him here? Yes, it did. This is really important that I get these names right at the gala tomorrow. This is Uncle Palmer. This is Mr. Lee. This is Julia. I'm getting a hang of this. Of course he'd be exhausted. He always called back to his off dad's office. I didn't realize how much time he has passed. It's almost 11 and we haven't had dinner. It's nice to see him. Surprised him with some takeaway when he wakes up. But I don't know the city well. Hmm. I'm so sorry that you had to recommend and get takeout with me. It wasn't what I was expecting when I gave you my number. But I settled this for this if it means getting to see you again. Let's see. You're getting two sevens plus you get mentioned how you he bailed on you last time. Please don't tell me I'm here to play delivery boy to your date night. Hey, he's not my boyfriend. I'm not in a relationship. Boy, that was a little too obvious. I don't like to, to fr be frank with my feelings. I have a take for Caroline. Ugh, I shouldn't have bought you here. They're too fast. I barely got to talk to you. I'll get it for you. This is me. Thanks for the ride tonight. Your friend lives in Oakland Apartments? O Oakwood Apartments? Huh, what are the odds? I happen to know someone who lives here too. Wait, what time is it now? A quarter to midnight. On a Tuesday? I have to get back before midnight. Thank you so so much for today. When will I see you again before you leave Manhattan? She has to get back before midnight? No, nope, no glass slipper. <laughs> we need to get you a suit for tonight. The designer is an old friend of mine. This shop is really familiar. It's you! You guys know each other? It's a long story. You're a friend of Dan's? Uh, I'm his personal assistant. We're here to pick up a suit for Wisteria. Hopefully something Miss Mill Mrs. Mill will highly be approved of. Hey, he looks nice! The Wisteria Gala is named after the Wisteria flower. One has beautiful shades of purple. You can see the hint of that in the suit I choose for you today. Aside from how fitting it is with the Mrs. Miller stopped by the store the other day. And she absolutely loved this piece. You and me, we know how fussy your mother can get. Imagine her shot if you turned up with this. She'd be stunned, speech. Now nah, I'm good. No, I'll go with the simplest suit. No need to be fancy. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. What about yourself? If you're his assistant, you surely have to attend the gallop tonight as well. You're being addressed too. And I happen to think of myself as your fairy godmother. We need to get you some dresses too. Whoa, look at me, I look hot. <laughs> What's wrong? It's just that this is the dress I always saw myself wearing. I look absolutely beautiful in it. <laughs> I didn't totally didn't get that. But I grown to the beans at the gallons elegance in you. It must be for a Miller Gala. The floor trucker you have on is the old to this this year's thing. Everyone's gonna going to mistake you for his hairless instead of an assistant. Try another dress. Yeah, that's good enough. This would do. We really have to be on our way. The gal is about to begin. Oh boy, here we go. Ah, oh, so pretty. This is it. Oh, I love how they do that. 
we can tell who it, who we are. Oh, thanks for reading. Go follow the yes authors on Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time when we hit the gala. Like, let's see what happens when we uh, switch. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys next time on back and forth. So, later.